This is Bobcat News and welcome to Wizard World Austin 2017. We're going to take you around and show you the sights and let's get more see what they've been missing. Hello ma'am, I'm Cassidy Landrum with Bobcat News and we'd like to ask you a few questions about your program. So what do you do in your program? Well we are Jakku Temple of Saber Guild, we're a lightsaber choreography group we are one of Lucasfilm's preferred um, organizations. Uh, we go out there and do shows like you saw today, and we give back to the community through charity work and community events like libraries and schools and such as well. That sounds interesting. Now, what did it take to put this event on? It takes a lot of practice. Uh, as you can see from our costume members, uh, we have costumes that we spend a lot of time making. We like to be screen accurate. Uh, in fact, that's what's required of our organization. And then it takes a lot of practice. The members that you saw um, working today spend hours every week uh, practicing the lightsaber choreography. And one more question. What's your side, Jedi or the dark side? I have to say, I am the light side, Jedi. Jedi? I am. You will see me out at other events as a Jedi. <laughs> Well, thank you, ma'am, for your time. You're welcome. And this is an amazing show you put on. We hope to see more of you soon. Thank you. Thank you.
this bad. Cat News, and may I ask you, what are you doing here? I am a cosplayer and prop maker. I'm currently sewing leather. <laughs> so, what's it like being a cosplayer? What do you do on a daily basis? It is my part-time hobby, so we do this both as a hobby and as a prop making uh, business, but um, we do everything from leather work to resin to foam armor and casting and a bit of sewing as well. That's interesting. So what does it take to be a cosplayer? That's a big question. Um, 
just enjoy what you do and if there's a character that you really really like to do try to make that come to life thank you So Batman, Clark Kent with Daily Planet. How are you doing? What do you say about the allegations that you're, there's too much violence in Gotham City and that vigilantes should be outlawed? I think there should be more. All right. <laughs> Having fun at Comic-Con? Yes. Are you? I am. I'm having a great time. Tell me. Do you believe? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Cool. He's a blue speckled rattlesnake. And how are you today, Mr. Blue Speckled Rattlesnake? He says, <laughs> Got some pretty interesting stuff in here. All kinds of little snakes, all kinds of things. It's a speckled king snake and a bull snake. So do y'all do the um, Comic-Cons very often? Um, this is my second one. Uh, provided that this, this weekend goes really well, I'll probably follow Wizard World. This is my crocodile monitor. Uh, he's actually the longest species of monitor lizard in the world. Um, I'm sure you've seen Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. This is actually the species that the raptors were based off of. Cool. He's really cool. You can get in there and get a good that's, video of him. That's interesting. Can we touch him? Very gently on his back, yes. Okay. He's a beautiful thing. Hmm? He's a beautiful thing. Thank you. He is there. Very, very extremely intelligent. Very. Oh, looks like I scared him. <laughs> oh. he's, he's still a little bit nervous. They are an arboreal species, and being as intelligent as they are, um, they, they're very cautious when they meet new people and new places and everything. Um, I actually had him out running around the con last night when it was a little more calm just to get him used to being around more people. And uh, I'm hoping that when he gets a little bit older, maybe about six months or so, I'll be able to actually put him on a perch outside that people can take pictures with him. Um, but they're a super cool species, not one that's typically kept in captivity because of their nasty demeanor most of the time. But he is tame. He's a very sweet boy. I wish I could get him out around crowds right now but he's just being a little jumpy how old is he uh he's a year and a half old he's about six feet right now he can get up to 14 feet they actually get longer than the komodo dragon they just don't get the body width because they're an arboreal tree monitor is there anything else we should know about him um their teeth are actually the closest related to any species that's still alive to the t-rex they actually have sheathed teeth their teeth can get up to two inches long as an adult, and they can definitely leave a nasty bite. Thankfully, he's very calm and tame and enjoys being held uh, when we do have him out. And uh, they're just a super cool species that you don't see a lot of the time. Thank right, you, so man. That's the pretty name cool. Of your company and how someone would contact you if um, they wanted to like, try to make you for an event? Um, we are Pi Reptiles. You can find us on Facebook, Pi Reptiles. Also, Instagram. Um, I do have business cards with my phone number on it as well. Um, we do do events. Uh, we're based both here in Texas, uh, around Fort Hood, and also in Florida. So we go back and forth and everything to do different events, and we're available for just about anything. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. No problem. That is a cobra. That is a leucistic cobra. He wants to be. He wants to be. 
<laughs> he's, he's actually, that's a Gaboon Viper. The Gaboon Viper oh. has the longest fangs of any snake in the world. They can get up to over two inches. That is an interesting snake. Legless, legless thing? He is a legless lizard. A legless His name is lizard. Lieutenant Dan because he ain't got no legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. That's done. Okay. Well, thank y'all for coming. Thank you.